Go on. Dodging bullets coming from rooftops throughout the area. The contents of the No, I wanted to speak to you. I'm concerned about Viola de Winter. She can so am I. Starship, but that does not mean she can be trusted, yes? I don't know what it means. I trust her. But maybe I can find out. Hold on, no, like. I hope you were happy with the information I gave you. It worked out. Why'd you do it? Because we should talk. We're talking now. In person. Meet me at the address I'm sending. You expect me to come along? Bring someone if you like. Ole, let's get some answers. So there we go. We're going to we're going to a meeting with a sm with a small breakable woman, um, and we're taking the largest baldest man we know, and probably also one of my favourite Saint Row characters who I am so bloody gutted didn't wasn't in Saint Row the Saint Row Four. That guy belonged in Saint Row Four, but I suppose with some of the ridiculousness in Saint Row Four. He was already a bit of a parody. But who doesn't want an eight foot tall, bald, intelligent Austrian giant around? Put your hand down! Good. <laughs> Why would you not want a, a seven foot tall Austrian, Austrian giant who weighs in the region of six and seven hundred pounds? Why would you not want one of those? Apart from feeding him, I suppose, yeah, feeding him probably costs a bit. You have to, like, give him an entire cow. I know he's not an actual brute, but he's the archetype for brutes. And, you know, those things could, like, eat, eat entire pigs. So, yeah, but at the same time... Oh, looks intelligent. He can go hunt. But anywho... We get to find out whether Viola can be trusted. What do you think? Can Viola be trusted? Leave your answer down in the comments, and it will have been, it will bear no impact on the story. Honest, I can promise you that much, because we'll find out Viola's reasonings very, very, very soon. One thing that I missed when I when I when you move from this game to the next game, and I know the powers and stuff in the next game are amazing and they're really cool and stuff, but um, you miss you just miss you just do start to miss like 300 hours of driving. I don't know about you, but this is a cut. This is going to be a cutscene, and you're not allowed to see those. So. Um, because THQ said so. So unfortunately, you can't find out Viola's reasoning. Viola's reasoning? Her sister was murdered ben. by Kilbane. Soldiers of some sort, though I don't recognize the uniforms. Well, whoever it is, they don't like us. Kilbane hiring out his mother. He thinks his luchadors are unstoppable. I doubt he'd ask him to sit this out. So is someone new? Wonderful. So yeah. Kilbane and his luchadors um, are, um, well, there's some sort of ambush going on. What's a stag? Does anybody know? Um, I know what a stag is, and it's and it's the and it's the greatest parody the world has the greatest parody of GI Joe I have ever seen. You see, why would you not want that guy around? He just picked a man up with one arm and lawn darted him into a statue why would you not want that man around that man is Another essential for again. all parties and that's a cutscene you're not allowed to see those bastards and bastards. Not good. no definitely not we're on a roof what kind of plane is that? a flying one Lasers! This is very, a very, very Spoiler large vehicle. Spoiler for Central 4, by the way. Lasers. Reload! Oleg, punch him! Thank you! Whoa! Oleg just threw one Commander Shepard into the other Commander Shepard, and both Commander Shepards fell to the floor in a heap of Commander Shepards. Yep! These guys are a parody of both G.I. Joe and K. 
King Halo! <laughs> Yeah, we need some upgrades. It doesn't help. It doesn't. It probably doesn't help that the machine gun I've chosen is a three is a is a three bullet pack pack weapon, but it's more powerful than the other one. I don't think you could, because you're being shot in the face. Eventually you'd fall over. You know, in that condition that some people call dead. Well, no, everyone calls dead. Frankly. Um, I mean, I look, back, I look back to the first time I played this level, and I did fall off the roof, I'm sure. I somehow ended up falling off the roof. Because I thought maybe, maybe I'd have a better angle if I was hanging off the side of the building. I think you can shoot that chopper before it drops off Commander Shepard. <coughs> Blame it on the guys doing this. <coughs> there are bodies everywhere, but that's just part and parcel of this game. Have we got our rocket launcher? Ah. Should have restocked it before we came out. Could have blown that chopper up in one moment. So these guys are packing laser rifles. They're packing like space age weaponry. Genuinely, who are these guys? Because we really need to um, do something about them. Because they are messing us up. And it's not good get when you get messed up. We've got a sniper, haven't we? I think there's a sniper we can use. I'm not sure the handgun's that good from that kind of distance. They're going down, aren't they? Yeah, true. You'd think they'd you'd think they'd be able to avoid the um, the single the singular Hollow pointed handgun ammo. Does this look familiar at all? It's me, Lieutenant King. Way beyond the private sector. We fought, don't we? A little. At least our legs honest. Holy shit, those look cool. Yeah, now you give me a rocket launcher. Well, yeah, you're, fight you're fighting jump jets. Shoot down the jump jet. Oh my god, it's a Harrier! That is a Harrier, that is actually a Harrier jump jet. That is based on the Harrier jump jet, that weapon. That ship. It's based on a Harrier jump jet. And I think Harrier jump jet is the coolest name ever. What? Don't you think? Well, yeah. Even though he's an eight foot tall giant man, he got, he got shot at by a jump jet. No, oh my god, Oleg, what? He's just jumped off a building onto a Harrier jump jet. Oleg! Oleg, no! Although that is really, really cool. I see it's time to leave. We all look at him. Although, credit to him, that is really, really cool. Oleg jumping off a roof onto a Harrier. That is really, really, really cool. So, you know. There are policemen everywhere. I think she got in. Just get out of there. Jesus, woman, can't you sit? Can you take the tank? You can't take one of their tank vehicles, can you? True. Your car will have about your car will have no pace at all. These guys are really serious. These guys are someone you've got to take 
absolutely seriously. So I guess Oleg's dead then. He jumped on a Harrier that went down. I hope he's alright. But we'll have to wait to find out. But that was awesome. Oleg is a bad ass. Yeah, our car is not going to last being, sh being showered in that piss loader. Bail! I think she bailed too. Get in the back, woman! She still ha she is she hanging on the side? No. I thought she was hanging on the side for a second there. Christ! She's in the gun at least. Partially. And this is armored, so it's a good thing. Where the hell did they come from? Who knows? We've been busy running for cover. Thanks for the update, Shorty. Now it's time for the Saints to teach them a lesson. Well, that's the logical way. That is the logical way to take out a group like the Saints. You don't just go for their leader in one thing. You go at you go at them from every possible point. That is that is proper military thinking, and you've got to you've got to respect that proper military thinking, that they are, are coming at us from like several different several different directions at the same time to ensure that we what we do as they want. That's a cutscene, and we're not allowed to watch those. But yeah, in brief, guys, just to brief that cutscene. His name is Cyrus Temple. He is GI Joe, and he is going. And he and basically now we have a pissed off army general and his and his like Commander Shepard Shepard robot monsters on our ass for the rest of the game. So whilst we are also dealing, whilst we are also dealing with Kilbane and his Mexican luchador minions we are also dealing with Cyrus Temple who is G.I. Joe as I have established um, but that mission did not go as long as we expected but we're gonna break this episode off right here and we'll see you back in the next in the next episode for more mayhem in the city of Steelport thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Apologies for the short episode, but, you know, I just need to get back on schedule. So I do apologize for that. And I'll see you next time.